Good evening. I was about to say good afternoon. I should say good evening. Uh, this is Inside Dunsire number five, I believe. Um, in Inside Dunsire number four, I brought in Lindsay, um, our project manager, uh, to talk about our vendor of the month. Um, and I promise to keep bringing staff into this, um, but I will have to do that on the next one. Um, what I wanted to do was, you know, one of the things I talked about in, in either a comment, a video, or a blog is how do we do, uh, in our industry, create not only the best place to work in, in, in the residential construction industry, but how do we create one of the best places to work, period. Um, anyone who knows me knows uh, I have a passion for those things, and sometimes I go too far where they may impact the business, uh, and I have to get better about um, my aspirational goals and ensuring they, they, they don't impact the business too much and, and keeping that in check. Uh, but I've been for a long time really wanting to, to, to create an environment once I was in a, a decision-making role to influence that culture by ultimately holding myself accountable and making those changes and decisions. Um, and, and we've been going through this exercise, as I shared in a previ previous video, about creating this great place to work at Dunsire. Um, flashback in November, um, I talked about in one of the past videos, we did a strategic planning session and we brought the team in. I did one day with the executive team to develop the financial goals, do the SWOT analysis, strategy objectives and tactics. And then on the second day in the morning, we brought in the entire company uh, so they could be a part of who was doing the tactics and timelines and what those tactics actually were. Um, so they were aligned to the goal and it was more realistic because no one knows how they're going to roll out better than the team on the front lines. We also in the afternoon talked about creating this great place to work and we spent five hours just talking about that. We broke everybody up into working sessions, had them report uh, within their team, then have a leader report. And what we did was we created this checklist of what was important to the entire organizations. And, and what I was looking for were the one-off ideas that someone thought thought of that maybe the rest of the group didn't that I thought would be game changers for work-life balance. Um, and, and I don't know if you call it work-life balance versus just life balance. Um, and then I looked for common themes of what everyone was asking for. You need to listen to your team, even if you disagree. If 90% if of your ta staff is telling you something, as a leader, you gotta, you gotta trust what they're asking for. And again, again, understanding that it won't negatively impact the business um, and still allow you to hit all your business goals. So we did that and I got all their feedback and then I asked for them to leave it with me. Um, and I took a crack at the list and, and I added a couple nice little surprises that I think the team is gonna be very pumped about when they hear it, uh, when we roll this out. But I sat down with Sean, our CEO and the owner of the company, and, and, and then uh, our VP of Finance, Bjorn, and the three of us as an executive team sat down and, and I had them debate what I wanted to roll out to our changes to make this a great place to work. Um, I had a hissy fit like I normally do when I don't get my way. I, I geez, from sports as a kid, I used to take my ball and go home. Um, I'm getting better at it through the years and I'm certainly more self-aware. Uh, but when I didn't get everything I want and I didn't have my peers seeing it the same way, um, I reacted negatively. Um, what I did do because I'm getting better with that is I acknowledge that, you know, that's a deficient behavior of mine. And I went back to the well and said, okay guys, tell me what doesn't work for you and why. And we were able to work through some areas where they saw some risk and I was able to make it comfortable for both of them that we can manage that risk. Um, but I also saw it their way on a couple points where they actually improved what the team or what I was asking for while minimizing our risk. So it was quite an interesting debate within the executive team and, and we came out uh, on the same page, which you need to. Um, and we're rolling this out to the company on Friday. And I certainly won't tell you what those changes are because they're gonna hear it from us first. And, and maybe I'll do an insider, inside Dunsire number six and I'll let a couple of the team members do this video and, and get their feedback on what those changes are um, and how is it's gonna impact them. But you know, long story short, what we wanna do is we wanna create a better environment of trust. Um, we wanna create an environment that understands work is a portion of your life. We all wanna be successful. We wanna have a great plan in place. We wanna deliver better to our customers. Those are non-negotiables. But we also, while we're here, we wanna grow our careers and we, wanna, we don't wanna miss life's important moments because we don't trust each other. And so what we're trying to do is set parameters to open up that trust and allow people to 
maximize those windows of life experience um, by being a little bit more flexible of a workplace. And quite frankly, over delivering on some of that stuff. But again, I'll, I'll keep that one in my back pocket because uh, I think it's a game changer in our industry. Um, I do know of a few organizations doing some of the things we're about to roll out, but these are very progressive organizations. Um, but I think it's going to be well received by the team, but I don't want to announce it because maybe it'll be a flop and maybe I was wrong. Because these issues that I'm talking about weren't things they asked for, they're things I'm trying to deliver above and beyond. Um, so anyways, that's, that's inside Dunsire number five. Um, just an update on what we're doing with culture here and, and how we're trying to not only make it absolutely stage one as the best home builder to work for, period, um, but I'd like to be known as one of the best companies to work for in Canada. And, and maybe an example for organizations that aren't there to see you can mitigate the risk, trust your employees, grow your company, satisfy your customer more than ever, and allow people to enjoy the journey in their life. You know, we, we, uh, we work to live, we don't live to work. Um, and I think that's been backwards for quite a while and I'm hoping we can do this um, and do it well. Anyways, inside Dunsire number six, I hope to bring you some employees and, and team members uh, from our team and let them do this video. I'll give them some parameters, I'll lock myself out of the office and let's see what they say. Uh, how the changes are going to impact their life. Anyways, I challenge you to leave me any comments. I challenge you. That's a little confrontational. I ask you to leave me any comments, uh, agree, disagree, um, thoughts, whatever it may be. Anyways, it's kind of what's going on inside our wall. I hope you guys are thinking of the same things and making life better for the people who work for you. Cheers.